Good morning, folks. August 1st, day 166. And uh, starting out right where we left off yesterday, right in front of the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center. Gonna head up the mountain behind us, as you see that. We're gonna be heading up there in just a little bit. Weather's supposed to be gorgeous. Uh, it's Wildcat Mountain. We'll go up over um, Wildcats, go up over Carter Dome. And then we'll camp somewhere in there tonight and we'll be back in going tomorrow. So anyway, we'll see you guys up trail. Getting ready to head in the woods. Let you guys see some of the some of the views around the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center. It's a beautiful area. We're supposed to have temperatures. In the high 70s today, low 80s. They did say it was going to be a uh, heat index of about 90, which is rare for up here. But you, know, you take the heat with the cold and everything else, that's part of hiking the trail and being able to see some of these places. Hoping to see a moose around here. They said this is one of the places you, you're more prone to see them than anywhere, but they also said the moose population has dwindled in the past decade. Down, I was reading a thing that said it was down 40% over the past decade. They said the, well, the warmer weather, moose can't sweat, so they head up further north where it's cooler. Or they hit the really high elevations. letting this thing run to see if I see a white blaze but I don't so I will acknowledge the trail once I see one We got us a white blaze right up here. If I can get to it. There we go. So, knowledge trail this morning. And head on off. Somebody asked me, is this an adventure that I'm looking forward to finishing? And like any adventure, my answer was, yeah, I look forward to finishing this and going home and seeing my family. Same time, I'm enjoying this adventure and I am gonna miss it when it's done. But you know what, there'll be other adventures. I'm not gonna just all of a sudden stop hiking and not do anything else, so. We'll find new places to explore, see what we can see. But in the meantime, we still have a little over 300 miles left to do on this one. Yep. We got a lot of rain out here yesterday, so trail's a little muddy this morning. But hopefully that works to our favor because this is a this section of trail doesn't have a whole lot of water sources as I, as I'm walking along a creek. But really, once you get up in the mountains, up on, up on the ridge, um, there's not a lot of water sources, and there's one. 
unreliable water source up there. They said it does go dry, but hopefully with all the rain we got yesterday, it'll be flowing this morning. So we shall see and hopefully it works in our favor. Coming up on another pond. Done a little bit of up, but it's been pretty mild so far. Once we start heading up Wildcat, Wildcat Mountain, I doubt I'll be able to do much video because it's supposed to be very, very steep. Now we begin our climb up Wildcat Mountain. So I'm not gonna be holding this thing all the way, so just wanted you guys to see it. We're going to be going up for a while. Still have a way to go, but uh, came up on a clearing so we can at least get a little bit of a view for you guys. Some beautiful mountains, that's where we were yesterday. But we still have to get up there. This part looks like fun too. Step over to your right now. Still climbing. We got some day hikers up above us. Pretty much straight up, guys. Beautiful views out here. As you can see, it's been a tough climb. 
been a fun climb, been exhilarating, but it is definitely, all the way down there, it is definitely steep and definitely tough. But we're coming to another fine lookout right here. Just just to catch your breath. See some sights. Doing some construction down there. That's what you keep hearing in the background. And right down there is a visitor center where we started this morning. Nice, cool little cave up in there. I don't know what you can see. As we continue our climb. Another interesting rock formation, but the trail doesn't go through there. It's one of those climbs that just keeps on going. That's why I guess it is called a wildcat. these days we're gonna make it to the summit of this thing it just keeps going up it's been a steep climb that's for sure well we've come out to another uh, ski lift Wildcat Express. We have a weather station up here. We still have a little more climbing to do. Had a couple of day hikes in front of us. Yeah, we'll need to go around that. See the trail goes to the right side. I see the white blaze on the side of the building. Right at the peak of Wildcat Mountain, but you can see the elevation here, 4062. See if there's any kind of view over here.
<laughs> this would be a view off one of the slopes. If there was snow here. Like a heck of a slope to me. I do not have a mic on folks and I apologize because I know it that wind makes things a little rough. I got my body blocking out a little bit of the wind right now. Looking at this, that uh, slope that I looked over the top of, I guess that would be lift line or black cat. In other words, it's straight down, it's a black diamond. Not something I want to go down. This is what's known as Wildcat D Peak. He's a David. We're going to be climbing another 400 feet up to Wildcat Mountain. Don't know why there's two of them, but you can see through there, that's where we're gonna be heading. So we'll be heading that way in a minute. We're gonna grab us a quick bite, something to eat. So we're down off of Wildcat D. I don't know if you guys can understand what I'm saying. I don't know if it's how clear it is. So it's Wildcat D is in Delta. It was Wildcat D peak. Now we're going to Wildcat Mountain. I don't know why they had two of them named Wildcat, but they do. But unfortunately, you gotta go, had to go back down off of Wildcat D, which was not as long, but every bit as steep as going up Wildcat D. Now we gotta climb back up Wildcat. I guess all that rain last night did work in our favor. <clears throat> all right, we made it to the top of Wildcat Mountain. Now we're heading down into Carter Notch. And Carter Notch Hut should be down here. And then we'll be climbing back up. Just want to give you guys make sure you guys got a good view of it before i put this thing away because we're still we still got to get down that it's still a long 
<clears throat> steep descent. Got to get down to the bottom. Once we get down to the bottom, then we got to climb all the way back up to the top of that one. So we got a lot of a lot of work to do ahead of us today. Coming into Carter Notch Hut, got the pond around it first. See if I can zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. We just came down from up there. So we're gonna go around and see what the hut looks like. It's been rumbling a little bit, the thunder's been rumbling, so maybe getting ready to get a storm. So we're gonna try to get over there where we can get out of it. And we've got another pond right behind the first one. This is a little bit rockier shore with rocks up above. We're gonna to try to get into the hut for just a little bit. Refill some water, use the restroom, and probably head out. We just saw our buddy Cutie. Well, he's right over there. He's gonna to try to get a work for stay tonight. I, I don't know if you just heard that, it is thundering. And his tent has got a problem, so he's gonna to try to stay in the hut. We're gonna, I think we're gonna hope the thunder goes around us, but we'll see. All right, we're coming up on the hut. This was a small one. It's a Carter Notch hut. going in a little bit. This hut's a little bit different. You got the main hut right there, and that hut uh, has the dining room and the kitchen in it. Then you have, you can't really see it back there. You can see the color maybe. That's where the restrooms are. And then you got two huts like this that are bunk rooms. So they're all separated. A little bit different. A little bit different. They do have work for stay here. They have bunks available, but it's two o'clock in the afternoon. I don't think we're gonna stay here unless that thunder rolls in a little bit. It's been rumbling off in the side, so we're wondering about what it's gonna do. So we'll see. All right, All right gotta have a little bit, a little bit back from where we came and we're getting back ready to leave the hut. We're gonna be back in the woods. So we're gonna go as far as we can tonight. I know we're not going near as far as we want to. It's already two o'clock and we've only done six miles today. It's been very steep, both uphill and downhill. And we know the next mile, mile and a half, is straight uphill again. So, you know, we may not make it, but so far, but we're gonna give it a shot and see how far we can. And uh, once we get to the point where we can't go anymore, we'll find us a place to pitch a tent. We'll pitch our tent and call it a day. Biggest thing we're worried about right now is whether or not we're gonna have enough water going up there when we go up there. There's one water source up there that's marked on our maps and they're telling us that that water source is dry, but that was before it rained yesterday. So hopefully there's some water on it. We've been seeing a lot of water on the trail today. So hopefully that's got it. So we'll see you guys when we get up there. There's the huts down below us folks. What a gorgeous view. All right, folks, we're at the summit of Carter Dome. Can't see much up here. That's where we are. Climbed up here with Look. Relentless and Airhead. They're up here with us. So. Some tired old hikers up here. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a heck of a climb. So now we're gonna move on. Maybe we can get somewhere where we can get a view. He said, yeah. Cool. So 
but this is Mount Height. So we're at the summit of Mount Height. Got your head up there on top. Got a gorgeous view up here. So I'm gonna get up there where I can get a 360 and we can see it. Gonna do a 360 and let you guys see it. folks this is our camp for the night we just found us a stealth site in the woods um, didn't get quite as far as we wanted to today we wanted to get 10 miles today we only did eight miles and uh, but that eight miles we did over 5,000 feet of ele elevation gain in that eight miles that it was straight up and down rocks and uh, it was a tough day to get eight miles uh, we went less than one mile an hour. I think we worked nine hours to get eight miles. So tough day. We're, we're both tired. Bluegrass already in his tent. He's already zipped up and he's done for the day. And I'm getting ready to do the same thing. So we will see you tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow we can get a little bit more distance. I'm hoping we can get 12 and get back in a uh, into Gorm to go ahead and get resupplied because we only brought couple days food with us so hopefully we can do that tomorrow and uh i don't think it's going to be quite as hard tomorrow it's still going to be tough hiking but it won't be quite as hard tomorrow i don't think so anyway until then this is bandit and we're still heading north <music>